Yes, go create our sales lead class. To open, add new item, class, sales lead. Lesson six, only need. Start by creating some variables. Public string m lead priority. Public string m contact name. Public string m contact email. Public string contact company public decimal M contact budget let's create a constructor sales lead with the string lead priority string name, string, email, string, company, and decimal budget. Let's go this dot m lead priority equals lead priority. This dot m contact name equals name this dot m email equals email this dot m contact company equals company and this dot contact budget equals budget Let's, let's continue with public string lead priority get return this dot elm lead priority public string name get return this dot m company name and public string email get return Contact email. Public string company. Get return this dot contact company. And we're going to set as well. M contact company equals value. And public decimal budget get return this dot M contact budget. And now let's add a method. So I'll call it public virtual void set lead priority. I'm gonna pass it a sales lead class. 
So what we're going to do if the sales lead dot budget is greater than 250,000 SL dot M lead priority is going to be updated to one. Let's make it extra visible. One. In the company DAC, we're going to go open that and create a method to go retrieve our sales lead information. It's going to be public, static, have a list, sales lead, and I get company sales lead string company ID. Let's create our list. Let's create our SQL statement. So select lead Priority, contact name, contact email, contact company, contact budget. from sales lead where company ID equals at parameter company ID using SQL command pass it our SQL use our connection manager add our parameter command dot parameters dot add data type in varchar comma tin dot value equals ID. 